Let x be a number. Translate the English phrase or sentence into a mathematical expression. Then evaluate the expression for x equals negative 3. So let's be careful to pay attention that this problem, um, we're being asked to do two different things. So they're telling us, that they're asking us to use x for our variable. The first thing they're telling us to do is to translate the English phrase or sentence into a mathematical expression. And then the second thing they're asking us to do is to evaluate. So we want to be sure for each one of these that we do both of those things they're asking us to do. So let's take a look at this first one. 8 less than the number. So remember what we're being asked to do first. We're being asked to translate this into a mathematical expression. So 8 less than. So certainly the idea of less than means subtraction. We have to be very careful in a problem like this. This less than, if we stop and think about this, if I asked you what's um, 8 less than 10, 8 less than 10, well, hopefully you could just think about that for a second and say, oh yeah, 8 less than 10 is 2, right? But let's think about how do we come up with 2. Do we do 8 minus 10? No, because if we do 8 minus 10, 8 minus 10 would be negative 2, right? Because 8 plus a negative 10, that would give us negative 2. That's not going to work for us. When we think about 8 less than 10, we start with 10, and then we take 8 away from it. So using this idea, whenever we see this less than, that's always going to do what I call a subtraction flip. We have to be sure that whatever they're telling me that I've got 8 less than the number, the number has to come first. And from that number, I need to take away 8 in order to make it 8 less than that number. Now we can go ahead and do our, um, our evaluation. They told us they wanted us to evaluate this for x is negative 3. So if we do negative 3 minus 8, well, let me just come on over here. Negative 3 plus a negative 8 would give us negative 11, right? Because subtracting 8 is the same as adding a negative 8. The next problem, the difference between the number and 1. So now this little keyword we're dealing with here is the difference. So the difference is just to subtract in the order the information is given to us here. The difference between the number and negative 1 would just be the number x and negative 1. So we want the difference between us. So here, this subtraction sign here, that's my difference. And here's my negative 1. Okay. So the difference, that's this negative here, and that negative one also needs a negative to go in right there. Now if we do our evaluating for x is negative 3, negative 3 minus negative 1, negative 3 minus negative 1, well that's the same thing as negative 3 plus 1, which would give us negative 2. Be very mindful on this one with these parentheses here. We wouldn't want to write down x minus negative 1. We don't want those two negative signs sitting there next to each other without the parentheses to separate them out. Okay. Our last one, subtract negative 6 from the number. So this is another situation where I'm going to have the number x, and from that number I'm going to subtract negative 6. So I've got the number, and from that I'm going to subtract. Here's my subtract. And what am I subtracting? I'm subtracting negative 6. Another situation where I need both of those negatives hanging in there. So now let's do our evaluating. Negative 3 goes into the x spot. Minus negative 6. That's going to be the same thing as negative 3 plus 6, which would equal 3 for our final answer.